Hello and welcome back to this multi-part video series where I'll be talking about biological image data analysis with Omero. I'm Balaji Ramalingam, I'm part of the OME consortium and I'm based in Dundee. In this short video snippet, what we'll be concentrating upon is the Fiji Omero integration and specifically the batch analysis workflow. What I'll be talking about is how to set this up and to run an example batch analysis script. The workflow will be pretty straightforward where I'll be opening up a couple of Omero images under an Omero dataset, iteratively doing some analysis on these images using the Fiji, Omero, uh, Fiji image processing tools and then eventually sending the processed images back to Omero. To look into the setup, the setup is a three Three, consists of three basic steps. The first part is Biformats, which comes pre-installed in Fiji. And the current version that is supported is 5.1.1.0. Biformats is a Java library, which helps in reading and writing of your image files. The second dependency is the Omero Image Shape plugin. This is nothing but Insight, which is written as an Omero Image Shape plugin. This needs to be installed under the Fiji plugins folder. The version that I'll be showing over here in this uh, video is Omero 5 to 5 version. For scripting purposes, all third-party dependencies need, uh, need to be installed under the Fiji jars folder to be used by the Fiji scripting interface. In this case, for Omero, what we'll be adding under the Fiji jars folder is the Omero client.jar, which comes bundled with the Omero MATLAB toolbox. And uh, the script that I'll be showing in this demonstration is a Jython script, which will be run under the Fiji scripting interface. And this script will be uh, consuming an image macro as well. Let's now, now that we've seen the summary of the setup process, let's go into the actual setup. As I said before, I'm downloading all the dependencies from the Omero downloads page over here, 5 to 5 version. And the down uh, the specific downloads that I was talking about are under the plugin section. The Omero image plugin and the Omero MATLAB toolbox, which contains the Omero client.jar. For these uh, demonstration purposes, I've already downloaded them locally. The Omero Insight is image plugin and the Omero MATLAB toolbox. The example script that I'll be running during this uh, demonstration is also under my GitHub repository and I've downloaded that as well locally in Omero MJ scripts. So let's start with the actual setup process. Applications, Fiji. Now, the first part is the installation of the Omero image plugin, copying the same and installing it under the uh, Fiji, charts, uh, Fiji plugins folder. The second part is the installation of the Omero client.jar under Fiji jars folder. That completes the setup process because Biformats is pre-installed in Fiji. Opening up Fiji now. If the installation is gone well, then you'll see the Biformats and the Omero menus under the plugin section within Fiji. Now, opening up the scripting interface. This is the Fiji scripting interface and this allows scripting in multiple languages. For this uh, demonstration, what I'll be highlighting is the Jython scripting interface within Fiji. And this is the example script from the GitHub repository that I'd shown earlier. What this example script has is a few accessory methods to interact with the Omero server from the Fiji scripting interface. And this script, being a prototype, shows does the following within the loop over here images from an omero data set are opened up iteratively one at a time 
and then some kind of a macro which is a Fiji or an MHJ macro is run on the image and then the processed image is saved locally by PyFormats and then uploaded back into a marrow. If, the, if you would like to try this script out, the only uh, details that need to be changed in the script are the credentials for the server, your password credentials which need to be in a text file and I'll show you the template on how to create this text file as well. The Fiji or the Marrow macro uh, file and its path needs to be uh, updated over here and then eventually the path where the bio, uh, processed image needs to be written before being up, uh, uploaded into the Marrow server. So let's look at the two files that we've not looked at so far which is the credentials file which needs to be in the following format username equals your username password equals your password and this gets read by the script and then for the this script also consumes an image a macro and in this case it's a background subtraction macro it's a really simple and it's straightforward macro now Let's look into the server. This is the data set that I'd like to process and it has a data set ID 1 and this is the, this is the server uh, address. So I've updated the server address over here. The data set ID is 1. I pointed at the credentials file, the macro file and then where I want to write out the processed images. Now to run the script. What this basically does is opens up the images iteratively, does the background subtraction and then pushes the images into a marrow. And this does it for both the images under the data set. Now it's completed the script as you can see this is extremely fast and once I refresh this data set you'll see the newly uploaded processed images. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll open one set of images, the raw one and the processed image. And as you can see, at least from the green, green channel, the haze around the green channel is removed in the background subtracted image, which shows that the macro has been run on these images and the processing has worked. That completes this brief demonstration of uh, VGO matter integration in the batch analysis workflow. Thank you.